Hey, my name is Ryan McCarthy, and welcome to another episode of... Hey there, my name is Jason Hay, my friends call me Jay, and I'm gonna share with you what I put inside my dry bag. Uh, a little bit about me, I actually make and produce my own uh, brand of dry bags under the brand name JLife13, and I'm gonna show you what I put into my four liter bag uh, right behind me here. Uh, along with loving the sport of stand-up paddleboarding, I'm also part of a really cool collective called Can River Sup. And this is a, a group of mentors, instructors, guides um, who love the sport and are passionate about teaching it and sharing it with others who want to progress in the stand-up paddleboarding world, whether it's on flat water, or river, white water surfing or whatever. And uh, the cool thing with Can River Sup is it's headed up by one of the top instructors in our region here in the Bow Valley, and her name is Rita Boychuk. Anyway, getting back to uh, what I'm gonna put inside my dry bag, stay tuned and uh, I'll take you down the rabbit hole. Cheers. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna take you down the rabbit hole as far as what goes into my dry bag. Uh, along with my regular safety kit as far as my uh, dry suit, my uh, quiver, uh, my uh, helmet, and my PFD shoes, I also bring a lot of extra gear for long days, um, for being with groups, uh, helping out on the water. Um, or just you know going on adventures you never know where you're gonna end up so I tend to take more gear that's my experience from being in the mountains and the oceans for most of my life so uh, this is what I put into my 40 liter backpack uh, most of you might think that's a little bit big but for me I find that that's just great to be prepared um, in the outside of my pocket I actually have a couple of extra fins I've always got uh, my safety knife, which will actually uh, attach to my PFD. Um, I've got some hand warmers down there as well in that uh, orange tube. Most of you will know if you sup, is a repair kit for my stand-up pedal board. Uh, always good to take a map of the area you're going into, uh, understand how you can read it too, along with the compass. Uh, up on top there, I've got my water bottle. I'm in that plastic uh, clear bag is my, uh, um, sur uh, Swift Water Rescue Kit. So it's my 4321 kit. So it's got my carabiners, my, um, my uh, press X, my slings. Um, it's got pulleys in there enough to hopefully not get used, but in the, if needed, um, you know, have access to that uh, along with the throw bag. Uh, which is your most important piece of that equipment and you got to know how to use it. Um, I've also got uh, from Raven Rescue my um, Swift Water Rescue Technician certification along with their standard manual that uh, will keep me updated as needed. Uh, these aren't helpful unless you practice, um, but if you're looking for uh, safety tips and rescue tips, uh, Raven Rescue, these guys rock. Uh, a couple of nourishing power bars of your liking, mine tend to be vegan. Uh, I've got a leash there, uh, which is a, a quick release uh, waist leash, uh, compass, headlamp, Leatherman tool, another backup knife. Uh, that black case is a uh, sunglass case, so it keeps my sunglasses uh, you know, handy and also accessible but safe. Um, up on top there, I've got an extra pair of booties, medical kit. In my medical kit, one of the interesting things about that is I also have um, water purification tablets. Uh, you never know how deep you get out. Uh, you might need to get access to water you may not have brought enough and at least that allows me to, you know, attach it and put those chemicals into my water bottle there, uh, wherever I might be. Um, I'm also uh, an addict of having extra dry gear to put on, especially after paddling. You might get stuck, you might get a puncture, you might not know where you are. So I have a pair of uh, fleece bottoms. I've got a, a fleece jacket and I've got a, a raincoat up on top there, Gore-Tex. I've got some uh, neoprene mitts and some uh, neoprene uh, socks along with uh, a, a really, really nice little pack towel down there on the bottom. And then all of that is, of course, my biggest go-to, which is toilet paper. You can never do without to toilet paper, that's for sure. So that's what goes into my JLife 13 40 liter backpack. Um, and again, I use that size because if I do have to haul myself out, 
I've got the ability to carry more gear on there. I can actually strap the paddles to the outside of it as well. So if uh, you're looking for more insights into stand-up paddle boarding, don't forget to check us out at Can River Sup. If you want to progress down the proverbial rabbit hole and enhance your skills. And remember, uh, pack safely, uh, know what you're packing, know how to use it, and uh, get some safety advice and take some courses. Thanks for sharing. All the best. We'll talk to you soon. Hi, my name is Maddie. I work at Aquabatics Calgary, and I'm also on the Kootenai Paddle Ambassador team. Today I'm going to show you what is in my dry bag. 